Yo, yo, what's up everyone and welcome to today's jam session. Uh, so first off, I just want to thank everyone who's been leaving feedback and comments. Uh, it's really great to see. Uh, so the first thing I want to do before we uh, jump into the jam session is I just want to go over the custom code that I added yesterday to the project. Um, so here if we go to the home page. Um, so one thing I did is I added the script to the head section um, and that's kind of a big no-no when you're working with uh, custom code. You don't usually add script tags in the head section. Uh, the head section is usually more for uh, the style tag and adding CSS. Um, so here I'll just uh, cut this and paste it in the body tag. Um, so yeah, the body tag is, is usually where, where you'll add scripts. And yeah, placing scripts in the head tag um, can sometimes cause issues with load times. Um, and it's just best practices to put script tags in the uh, before the body tag section. Uh, so here I'll click save and then I'll publish and then preview just to make sure everything's working correctly and perfect. Looks good. All right, so let's get started with the jam session. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer. Uh, today I think I'm just gonna work on this logo here and the menu, the menu items in here. And uh, yeah, installing the Rubik font um, so that we can add this text. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start the timer. Click start. Looks good. So we're starting. Um, perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is place this nav bar in the slide section. Uh, so let me just make sure it's in the right place. Perfect. Uh, so I placed it in the right section. Um, yeah, because if we look at the Figma file, these are menu items and this is just a logo. So we can just add a logo in here um, in a second. So. Yeah, that looks good. So let's go ahead and install the Rubik font. So I'll go to fonts. Um, this is what's great about Webflow. We have access to all the Google fonts. Um, so I'll install Rubik. And I don't need the italic font, so I'm just selecting the, the non-italic. And then I'll click Add Font. And perfect. Looks like I already added it. So yeah, there we have the Rubik font. Go to the designer. And it looks good. So what I'm going to do here I don't need the brand uh, icon in here, so I'll just delete it. And then for the container, I'm gonna give it a flex property and perfect. So we want, let me just close this here. We want those menu items to be more on the left. Um, so I'll go ahead and copy this a few times and perfect. So let's go ahead and call this um, nav, yeah, nav item and perfect. Let's, let's set the font. So go into here and I'll select uh, Rubik should be, uh, don't see Rubik, not sure why, um, so I might have to go back in here and let's, let's reinstall it. So if I go over five minutes, it might be okay because this is a little hiccup. Oh yeah, it's deleted here. So I don't know, uh, Rubik. So it could be cause I deleted that second version. All right. So boom, boom. Cool, add font, perfect, it added it. Now let's go back and perfect. So let's go into the nav item and we'll select Rubik, perfect, right in there. And I'm gonna set the font weight to medium. Cool, so we'll give all of these the class name nav item and nav item and nav item and nav item. Cool. So looks good. Let's look at the actual nav item. So BO play H4 features. So BO play H4. And yeah, that's cool. Uh, features. They're all uppercase, so we'll work on that. Um, gallery, text spec, and setup. All right, cool. Gallery, text, text spec, and setup. So we'll just click on any nav item. We'll go into more options and we'll make it all capital. And then that looks a little bit too big for the font size. So maybe 12 um, or let's see. Yeah, that's too large. So let's go back in and set it to maybe 10. That's gonna look smaller on different screens. So we'll play with that. Um, yeah, cool. So that looks okay for the nav. Let me set the background. I'm just gonna call this um, navbar container and cool and for the background i'm going to set it to yeah navbar just grab it and i'm going to set it to transparent or white actually i want it to be white here 
So let me go back in here, select the nav bar, and set it to white. Awesome. Cool. So it's coming along. We're getting the menu. And I'll go ahead and add the logo here in the upper left. So um, let's see how I want to do that. Yeah, I'll just add a div block. Div block puts it in there. Nice. Um, then in here, I'll add, I'll make the, yeah, uh, add a flex box horizontal, add a div block, and I'll call this circle um, or uh, logo circle, something like that. And then for the size, let's make it 15 by 15, and let's make it a perfect circle, 50% for the border radius. And for the background color, I'll set it to, to black. All right, cool. So we have that little dot. Nice. We can't really see it. So let's see. Div block. Nope. Um, let me go back in here and just grab it. There we go. Cool. Uh, logo circle. And I'm just going to copy and paste twice. And let's give it some margin. Uh, yeah, let me call this uh, logo wrapper. And just give it some margin from the top and the left. Can't really see it now, but um, yeah, cool. So then for this logo, I'm going to just give it a margin or the circle margin of like no five, maybe five pixels. Uh, yeah, something like that. And then we'll add a text block in here. So uh, text block. And I think my time is up. Yep, time is up. So let me just do like maybe one more minute, and let's just say headphones for this text and I'll say logo text all right cool and then we'll change this to Rubik and for the font weight I'll make it bold cool um, and then for this logo wrapper let's set the alignment to center so those circles are a bit more centered and let's just look at it a little bit for these circles I'm gonna set it, set it to maybe 12 by 12 so they're not as big and yeah, that's looking good. Um, let me preview headphones. Um, this text could be smaller and it's all capital. So I'll just go in here and into the text, make it all capital and make it a bit smaller and then change the letter spacing, maybe four. Nope, too large, two. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, and then maybe add some margin to the left of this. So maybe 10 or like five. All right, cool. So let me preview and that's looking pretty good. So we got the menu set up um, and I'll go ahead and publish just to see how it looks like on different resolutions. This text might be too small, um, but we'll see. Yeah, this text, but I'm on a iMac um, 27 inch. Uh, with a really high resolution. So I would play with this just to get it right. And I can also see that it's all the way to the right here. So um, yeah, I would par probably play with that to to get the, the menu items in the proper place. Uh, but yeah, we have plenty to work with for tomorrow. Um, that's it for today's jam session. Uh, I went a little bit over because that font issue. Uh, but yeah, we added the text, we added the font, and we're getting the menu uh, ready to go. So tomorrow, I think um, I'll add this text, maybe add all the text in here and the text in here. And um, yeah, I can do this today. I can bring back the right panels actually and the gold overlay. So let's just bring that back in. Well, we can't see it now. So let's see um, the right. So yeah, we're gonna have to play with this here. Um, oh yeah, cause this, this overlay isn't in the slider. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll work with that tomorrow. We'll add those panels uh, in here, but uh, yeah, so far it's looking pretty good and we can see the menus only in the slide. So plenty to work with tomorrow. Thanks for watching today's jam session and yeah, I'll see you in the next jam session.